channel, my name is Hayden, and today I'm here to talk about the PlayStation 5. If you don't know, Sony just released the design and the PlayStation 5, but anyways, they just revealed it, and I want to talk about my thoughts and what I think about it. First of all, the design. I think the design looks awesome. Now, there are already a ton of memes going around the internet of what it looks like, saying it looks like two pieces of paper next to a modem. Now, to me, I don't really care because I think it looks awesome. Now before, there were a ton of leaked images of what people thought the PlayStation 5 was going to look like and it looked ugly. I was praying that they would come up with a design that looks way more better than the elite, than the leaked images. Now so far, we don't know about a space gray version, it only looks like it is in white and black. But it would be black anyway, so it would be really nice to see like a space gray version, hopefully in the future. Now, it's supposed to come in a physical edition and a digital edition. Now, the digital edition would only be able to buy the games off the PlayStation Store. You can't return them. Now, I think that is a huge idea. It's a great idea. But I would never go digital. Because with a physical copy, copy if you don't like the game, you can always return it. If you pre-order a game for $60 and you try to return it via PlayStation Store... I don't think you can return it, and that would be a huge pain, but the digital edition is also going to be cheaper. We don't know the prices yet, but hopefully they both come out to be a pretty good price. Now specs. We are looking at a AMD Zen 2 at 3.5 GHz 8 cores. Now that seems like a great processor. Now AMD has always been a great processing company. People do the Intel vs AMD wars, I really don't care. It's really just what about you prefer. Now the GPU is supposed to be 10.8 teraflops at 2.23 gigahertz. Now that seems to be pretty good also. I think the Xbox Series X has just a little bit more oomph in the GPU graphics side. But either way, I think that is still a good amount to have. Now it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is insane. Now I thought they would probably have like 8 gigabytes, but they doubled it and we are at 16. So anyways, that is pretty great to have, especially for the price of both of them. Now, the SSD info will be 825 gigabytes. Now, I'm surprised they didn't just go with a one terabyte SSD like they did in the past for the PS4. Now, they just have 825 gigabytes. I would personally want that up a little bit, but you can always buy an external SSD if you have too many games on the current in-game, the current SSD. So, yeah. Now, what I would like to see, obviously, is a Space Gray Edition. Now, currently, we only have the White Edition, and the controller is also in white. But hopefully, in the future, we'll eventually see a Space Gray Edition. Now, will I be getting it? No. But, however, my brother wants to get it. Now, if he got it, obviously, I would use it, but not very much, because I am a primarily a PC user. But I'm not a person to go against... I'm not a person to favor Xbox or PlayStation 4. They're both great consoles. Now the controller. I'm not a huge fan of the controller. The PlayStation 4 design and the PlayStation 4 controller, the both designs were great. I love them. I really didn't know where PlayStation was gonna go next with the PS5 controller, but it is actually kind of big. It looks like the Xbox One controller. Not many people like the Xbox One controller because it is so big and heavy. The PlayStation 4 controller was actually very light and fit your hands very well. So I'm just not a huge fan of the controller, but maybe if I get it into my hands and I can actually use it, then it might be a little bit better than what I thought, just from the initial looks of it. Now that is my thoughts on PlayStation 5. If you have any other thoughts that you want to talk about or anything, please comment them down below. Please subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.